Hello to there in Paris. And this is Brother. And we are on for uh, parts of our God is Pure series. And um, I hope these be a blessing to you. Um, over the years that I've been at the Bible school, I've learned quite a bit on uh, not only uh, internally the text of our King James Bible, but um, also around the King James Bible. How's it going, Des? How you doing? Um, good of you to join Join again. Amen. Um, guys, I just, uh, just uh, right now, we're, we kind of had a series of, of just going through the uh, history of uh, uh, somewhat, okay? This is wasn't a thorough history of the King James Bible. This is kind of like uh, Brother Ed's uh, little version of it. So, um, guys, um, it'll be really challenging for uh, some folks um, on this topic because uh, some people have a, a stand on uh, uh, maybe a certain version that they use or maybe their grandma gave them a Bible and if the Bible really means a lot to them. And um, I, I mean, I understand that. I mean, I understand the, the sentimentality that comes with um, maybe your pastor always used this particular kind of a Bible. And, um, and I understand that. Um, but guys, just because, you know, we have sentiments and heartfelt feelings and emotions and sincereness, um, we can't negate what, what is actually true, okay? Now, I'm not trying to be hard-hearted towards uh, things because I know there are a lot of people that aren't ready to receive um, some information like this because um, they, they can't imagine that, you know, their pastor or the person they've always trusted would have given them a corrupt the Bible and this and that in which guys you, you got to understand that um, there are a lot of pastors that are unlearned on this topic they don't know the history of how they even got their Bible guys I've been to a Bible college okay and um, what they taught there it, it, they didn't really teach much on the history of how we got our Bible okay I mean I walked away from that place pretty much not knowing anything about you know the Bible um, whether it was King James, whether it was an NIV or any Bible for that matter. So it wasn't really the fact that, you know, your pastor knows the difference between the Bibles. And so you, you would hurt him if you went to a King James. Uh, really, guys, I mean, if you would tell, say, your pastor that believed in an NIV, you were going to King James, he would probably be just be like everybody else. Well, wh why would you do that? You know, the the the. The NIV is a lot easier to read. And that's, and that's the argument of most. They say, well, what about the these and the thous and all that, right? And that's what and that's what people do, you know. They they hold on to uh, certain arguments like that. And um, and I don't think they're good arguments, to be honest. I mean, just because you prefer something because it's easier to read doesn't negate that you might be reading something that's absolutely wrong. Okay, you got to make sure you're reading the correct material. Okay, I mean, just like with anything you do in life, I mean, you would, you, would, I mean, if you knew there was a counterfeit bill out there and and uh, somebody was giving you change for your money, and in one hand they had a counterfeit bill, in the other hand they had real money, you wouldn't just say, well, it doesn't matter, it's just money. I'll just go ahead and take the counterfeit. You'd be like, I don't want the counterfeit because it's wrong. I mean, you, you end up being legally wrong, right? And so, and that's the same thing with the Bibles. You say, well, all the Bibles are pretty much the same. No, you want to be legally right with the Bible. You want to be legally right with God. And so, and with that being said, guys, here's what we're going to do. We got a, we got a challenge headed before us right now. And um, this challenge, we're going to do a Bible version comparison. And what I like to open up with is I want to open up with the Hosea passage which we'll look at, and I'll show you what the Hosea passage says. Okay, let me get it up on the screen real quick. It'll be Hosea. If you want to turn there in your Bible, um, if you have anything other than a King James Bible, this will be pretty interesting, okay? So open up your Bible to Hosea eleven twelve. Hosea chapter 11, verse 12. Now I'll flip the screen and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, look what it says. Ephraim compassed me 
about with lies and the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah, now, now look at this, guys, you got to look at this. Judah yet ruleth with God and is faithful with the saints. So who's faithful with the saints? Judah, right? Who ruleth with God? You ready? Judah. Okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Um, let me get my, my thing on the screen here. Okay, here we go. Now, look at this. It doesn't matter what Bible I use. They are all the same. No, they're not. The King James says, but Judah yet ruleth with God. What does the NIV say? And Judah is unruly against God. What does the NASB say? Judah is also unruly against God. Question, guys. Is Judah yet ruleth with God? Or is Judah unruly against God? Which one is it, guys? Okay. Um, is, Ju <laughs> is, Ju is Judah unruly against God? Or is well, Judah ruleth with God? Guys, that is a huge difference. You can't say every word of God is pure. And, I'm sorry, guys. It just, it's funny. It's funny. You can't say that the word of God is pure, Psalm 12, 6 and 7, and then you don't even know if Judah is ruling against God or if Judah is ruling with God. Which, which one is it? All right, guys. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my scope. I have an important phone call. You guys dwell on what I just said, okay? I'm gonna do a, <laughs> I'm gonna do a 16.2, uh, part 16.2, okay? I'm gonna continue on with this study. I got a, a probably important phone call, okay, guys? So um, we'll end here. I'll do my phone call and then I'll come back and we'll continue on, okay? Uh, Bible version comparison charts, okay? Uh, join me again, guys, um, just a couple minutes, okay? Lord bless you guys. Y'all have a good day.